Hello everyone. Today we are going to show you five really random things to spot in Edinburgh. So how are you all? Hope you are all happy and healthy and well out there. This is a suggested video. Well, kind of. Someone said, have you seen that? Have you shown that in the video? You should do that. I had seen it. And I think I've mentioned it on the various videos before. And I was like, well, I can't do a whole video on this one thing. But it's quite random. So I could maybe do a few random things. And this is, this is purely just a fun video today. You're not going to get much information if you're going to come visit. But you might get a good few pictures. So right now we're starting on um, Nidri Street South. Nidri Street is just there behind that big truck. And this is probably one of the most picturesque kind of areas as well. If you want nice pictures, you get a lot of people doing wedding pictures and things on here with the cobbled streets and the ivy and the, the, the picturesqueness about it. But that's not why we're here today. We're here because of him. A half coup on a wall. Yep, right here on the side of the pub is a half cow. And if you're worried about where the rest of them is, I say him. It's a, it's a her, obviously, because it's a cow. Um, there she is. There's there's the other half of her. Just on Whiskey Row, which may be the coolest name for a place ever. You see that? Although it's Nedry Street South, it's got these signs for Whiskey Row. I will need to do some research to see why that is. Anyway, look. You ever, anyone remember that game Portal? Remember that? Or Portal 2, which is just a brilliant game. There we go. Half the cow. Other half of the cow. Ke -o. Ke -o. So there we go, if you're ever down this end of town and you want to get a picture of a half a cow or half a cow or two, two, two halves of a cow on different if you want a random picture <laughs> come down here and this is what we're going to show you today I'm going to show you another four random things round about town and I don't know why. Now, I think maybe that one there started when there was a, a thing uh, where cows got decorated, plastic cows or big cows, I don't know if they were plastic or, or clay or whatever. The big cows were decorated by schools and charities and things like that. And they were dressed up and they were put all the way around. And they were at least Edinburgh, possibly Scotland, I can't remember, because it was about 17, 18 years ago. Oh, I'm getting old. Um, and I think maybe that's been up since then. But I don't know. Maybe not. Anyway, on to the next one. Uh, oh yeah, as I was saying, um, I don't know why some of these, some of these are there. Actually, the most of them. There's maybe one that I know why it's random. The other four, no idea. But that's the fun. I love when I spot things. Bagpipe makers. You know, that's something that... I would imagine most predominantly happens in Scotland. Not, not exclusively, but I would imagine we've probably got more bagpipe makers in Mapers? Bagpipe makers in Scotland rather than anywhere else, but the sign says artisan bagpipe maker. Is there any other kind? <laughs> That's not even what I was actually wanting to show you. What I want to show you is here. So, just to show you where we are, this is us at the World's End pub. This is the Royal Mile right here, Royal Mile. Um, we're on St Mary Street right now. Um, this is the site of the old uh, gates to Edinburgh. You can see they're repairing all the cobbles right now. Looks like they're raising the street a little bit. Look at that, see cobbles on top of cobbles. That's interesting. Uh, but actually what I want to show you is this guy above the Waverley. I have no idea. He seems to be a, a spider man -y kind of man climbing up the side of the building in a toga. And he's blue. I'm blue. Da -da 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 -da. I honestly have no idea. Um, I really don't know why that's there or what it's there for or when it went up or anything like that. But it is random and I love it. <laughs> If anyone knows the reason for any of these, please tell me, uh, because I don't know. I don't know. I've spotted it for a long, long time, and it's made me laugh. 
but I don't know why it's there. I don't know how long it's been there. It's been there for a while. He has a bird poo on his shoulder, I can see. Good luck, that is. That's good luck. Yeah, anyway, that's two. That's two random things. Like I said, this is just a random fun video today. But the next one, which is historically random, I think it's just here. No, we, we've literally just came around the corner. We were there a minute ago. We're just here. There's the other side of the world's end. Well, there's the guy still working on the cobbles. Um, and there's world's end close, right there. And what we're looking at is that, right there. That sign on the wall. Now, this is random because of the way they've decided to phrase it. Not for any other reason, but it's random phrasing, which possibly they maybe did it the wrong way around. There we go. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can I zoom in? There we go. Forgive my shaky hand. There we go. There we go. See that nice, nice plaque on the wall there? You see that? How lovely that is? Let's just zoom in on the right in there a little bit more. Erected 1873 and down the bottom demolished 1764. So it was erected before it was demolished. Like I said, this is just a random way to write it because it does make sense or it should make sense. What it actually means is the plaque was put up in 1873 to remember the city gates that was demolished in 1764. Make more sense? So again, if we if we if we look in, if we look in, there we go. Let's let's focus there for a second. There we go. See, erected 1873, opposite the building stood the Nether Bowport, demolished 1764. It's just an odd way to write it. It's a random way to write it. So I don't think they did it quite the right way around, but it's fun. It's fun. And look at that lovely, lovely, you know, representation of the city gates, which stood right there, actually, where these guys are building. I wonder if they're putting the gold plaques right now, because there used to be gold bricks. There used to be gold bricks, which I've pointed out to you many times, that showed the outline of where the city gates were. So I'm going to assume they're putting them back down. I hope they are. Anyway, that's three random things. Let's go to number four. Number four. And we're back on Princess Street. As you can probably tell here, this is Princess Street. I'm just, I'll, I like to give you your bearings where you are. There's the Scott Monument right there. Princess Street Gardens. And uh, just behind us here, there's a bus in the way. There's a bus in the way. Hang on. There we go. Romans and Patterson. Uh, what do you call it? Gift shop. Yeah. Established in 1808, it's got on the top there. It's like, it is a gift shop with lots of, you know, what do you call it? You know, tart and stuff and all the shortbread and all that sort of thing. Been there for a long time. Remember it as a kid. And you can see the building is a lovely historical building as well. It's got established 1808 on the sign there. But what I want to show you is the random thing about this building. You can look at it, you can see it's decorated nice and it's got, you know, curtains in the windows. But wait, let's have a closer look at those curtains in the windows. As you would normally guess, you would imagine that the curtains would be inside the windows. But no, 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 no. The curtains are on the outside of the building. Now I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess the curtains are on the outside of the building. You see those ones at the top there are looking a little bit faded, a little bit weather-worn. I'm going to guess the curtains are on the outside of the building to get that specific look, you know, of the big tartany curtains. And if they were inside the win windows, it wouldn't be as bright. But still, the curtains are on the outside of the windows. And again, again, I love that because that's one of those things that unless you look, unless you actually look closely, it's a glance and you'd miss it. You know what I mean? You just look and you say, oh yeah, that looks very Scottish. <laughs> then walk past it. But if you wait... Mum, have they put their curtains on the outside of their windows? They'll no dry very well out there. 
well they will on a day like this actually it's that corrected but still there we go four of five curtains on the outside of the windows one to go time for the last one um i've came onto regent road now as you can see this is this is regent road there's there's arthur well that actually technically that's salisbury crags and kind of that that is arthur's seat it's salisbury crags but Hollywood Park. There's um, Royal High School right there. And if we look across there, there's Edinburgh Castle just there as well. And the thing I want to spot here, I actually spotted it on my way to work a few times on the bus. And I was like, so random that I love it. It's <laughs> so random that I love it. So we need to have a look over here first. There's the uh, government building. And that next there is Edinburgh Council, uh, that one right there, Edinburgh Council building right there. So there we go, there's, there's the train tracks, there's Edinburgh Castle, that's uh, Waverley Station right there, Waverley Train Station. Uh, that's, that's Market Street right there, there we go, seeing the arches that you may be seeing in the distance. Like I said, council building, government built. What's that? What's that right there on their grassy roof? Two big plastic cows just, you know, chilling. I don't love it. <laughs> I think it's just so utterly random and bright. I'm assuming you can maybe see it from the train. Let me zoom out again. I'm assuming you can see it from the train as it comes here. It's difficult to tell exactly from here, but I think that's at the same level. I think if you looked out the window, you would see those cows on the top of the council building right there. And I just think that is just brilliant. It's totally random. It's completely pointless, apart from the fact that it's a little bit of fun right on top of the council buildings in the middle of Edinburgh. Don't you just love these little things? And you know, don't you just love this beautiful city? Just stunning. Anyway, there you have it. Five completely random things to spot in town. Just purely for the fun of it. This gives you no educate. Well, all right, okay. One of them was slightly Edinburgh educational. But most of them, completely pointless. No educational value, no tourism value, really, I don't think, no, um, just fun, just fun. Uh, if you've enjoyed that, as always, guys, please leave a like, leave a comment, please come join Clan Brunford um, by subscribing, that would genuinely mean the world, or if you want, you can support us on Patreon, or check out the merchandise down below as well, but, wherever you are, hope you're well, till next time, bye humans.